Okay, so this happens a lot out of the straddle, and uh, not really sure why, but it's a common way to try and get out of it, um, and it just kind of makes it easier to juji him. So we're gonna go to the straddle. You can even use it as a fake if you want. Fake going to the straddle, he'll react, and then you sit back into a juji. So I've got it, again, he's a stud. Arm ain't going anywhere, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hook, okay, lean forward, kick back. All right, Mike knows what's coming, so he's gonna turn this way. That makes getting the bent arm lock a little bit more difficult because they have to put his shoulder all the way back there, okay? He's got a lot of range of motion. He might be super bendy in his arm. I'm not even gonna try it from this position. But what he has given me is a really easy way to sit back in the juji again, okay? He's rolled forward, I've already got this foot down, okay? Scoop again, okay, and there, I can either go up like this and grab my gi, grab my shoulder, uppercut it. Sometimes if I'm doing no gi, I'll put it down and kinda, you know, half him, uh, what do they call it, half Nelson, okay? Mm -hmm. As soon as I get that, whichever way I decide to do it, okay, I'm gonna put that foot up and then just step around. Once I collect his head, you sit right back into juji. Okay, and the difference between this and this is that I'm, I have all of that gravity working for me. Okay, I've got momentum on my side now. So when I hook this and sit back, it pops free for me because all my weight is good, now gonna pull that back instead of just shoulder and back power. And see also guys, see how he trapped Mike's arm so tightly to his chest and you know torso there. See, now Mike is rolling away, resisting, trying to get away. Derek is literally hugging his arm to his chest, Mike's arm to his chest. And now, and notice his left leg is across the torso with control there. And see that, so it's a good control there. And he's like stepping. Now all he's gonna do is kick his right leg over, roll back, and the body weight's gonna roll him back into releasing the, uh, the arm. Oh. This is an old tried and true way of setting a guy back into a juju. You're really baiting him into getting his arm. And then, you know, once you get used to this position and he rolls over, then you can have all kinds of other fun, like. So you roll him over to head roll Juji. Finish up. Which, believe me, has been done. It's a great move, you know. So there, there are a lot of variations there once you've got that. Again, this is how strong the leg press is. This is why and then we work into the straddle, which is directly from the leg press. We kick over. Look at that, so you got another release. So you can see how many variants you can do in the juji. All kinds of different ways to get it from there. The okay. key is you're, you're moving back and forth fluidly. You're transitioning between your pins. Okay, don't get married to one. Try them all out, okay? Okay, you notice how he con continues to improve his position and make Mike's position worse. Mm -hmm. And that's the idea of good ground fighting. Yep. Or good standing fighting, whatever. Okay, let's, let's drill that and then we'll go into the last one we'll do in a choke a little later. Okay, let's get them.